Welcome to Cafe DCPL. I'm Ansley. And I'm Diane. And we're your book tasting hosts. So what is a book tasting? In the same way that everyone is different when it comes to their tastes in fashion, music, and food, a book tasting is a way to give you a choice in what you read and let you know that there are many kinds of stories out there waiting for you to discover. We at Cafe GCPL have searched our shelves to select the best in teen reading to share with you. Our selections represent a variety of literary traditions and voices from around the world, and our menu offerings range from action and adventure to mystery, fantasy, and science fiction. We also have an assortment of graphic novels to choose from. If you hear any descriptions that sound good to you, circle the title on your menu and then go to www.gwinnettpl.org, do a search for the item, to read more about it and if you want to place a hold. When the book is ready for pickup, we'll send you an email and you can come to a curbside pickup table to get it. All right, let's get started. Mm. Ooh, they have some nice selections today. Kind of looking at the mystery. What about you? Ooh, I'm looking at that fantasy. Fantasy. Mm -hmm. But what about this nonfiction section? Oh, I usually don't do nonfiction, but today I might dabble. I don't know, man. If you look at science and technology, Ooh. hidden figures. Oh, I heard that was fantastic. Speaking of which, I have the book right here. Oh, what a coincidence. If we look to the back of the book on hidden figures, you'll see that the summary is on here. And it says, before John Glenn orbited the Earth or Neil Armstrong walked on the moon, a group of dedicated female mathematicians known as human computers used pencils, slide rules, and adding machines to calculate the numbers that would launch rockets and astronauts into space. This book brings to life the stories of Af African Americans Dorothy Vaughn, Mary Jackson, Katherine Johnson, and Christine Darden, who helped achieve some of the greatest moments in our space program and forever changed the face of NASA in the country. You might also have heard the name before because there was a movie created about this book. And I heard it was very good. It is very good. I actually watched it in school. Oh, wow. I wish we would watch movies in school. Does the book talk about just the science and the math, or also does it talk about their biography? Well, it's a little of everything. Okay. It will talk about who these people are, so part of it is a biography. It does talk about the math that they did to, you know, actually be a human computer. I could not imagine doing that much math. Same. All right, well, wow. If you're interested in uh, space, technology, or math, or about the achievements of African Americans in our society, this book might be for you. Yep. All right, let's see what else they have today. <laughs> I'm really, I always just come back to fantasy. Ooh. Do you see something you like? I think I do. Starry River in the Sky. And actually, I have it right here. <laughs> so this book is a fantasy novel written by Grace Lynn. And actually, the events and the settings in this novel are inspired by her travels to South Asia and China, which I think is fantastic. And the book centers on a boy named Rindy, who seems to have noticed that the moon has vanished, and yet he's the only person who realizes it. Wow. Yeah, so he actually leaves his home and goes to a different village, and all these weird things are happening in this village, like people just argue for no reason, and people are disappearing, and no one seems to notice, though. So it seems like a little bit of mystery, but a lot of, little, a lot of fantasy. It looks very yeah. good. Yeah. And I see it has like some pretty drawings on it too. Oh yeah, it looks beautiful. There's some art in the book as well. So there are some pictures and the writing style looks so beautiful. I've heard a lot of good things about this author. I have heard very good things about this author as well. I'm excited. I might just take this with me. <coughs> so what else looks good, Ansley? Uh, let's see. We got some action adventure, some animal stories. Ooh. A bit of contemporary. Mmm, some more fiction. <coughs> You know what does look good? It's called One Crazy Summer. Ooh, I think I've heard of that. Actually, I also have the book right here. Oh, look at that. <laughs> so the story centers around an 11 year old Daphne who has everything going for her. It, life is perfect, she's got two other sisters. The only thing is her mom left them when they were very young, essentially abandoned. And this is a story about them reconnecting with her and learning about like their history, and this is all taking place during one of the most important parts of American history, which would be the civil rights movement. But this is more focus on like art and loving yourself and accepting who you are. Oh, wow. Very interesting. It is. 
and this is actually a kid's book and as a current adult I actually think I'm gonna read this soon. I mean you can definitely read outside of your age group. There's some great books in teens and kidding. I mean take for Harry Potter that's a kids and teen books but mm -hmm, everyone exactly. alike loves them. Mm -hmm, I still love them. Same here. And isn't that book part of a series? Why yes it is. Ooh and actually I have the sequel right here. Why look at that. I know. So this book is called PSB 11 and it is the follow-up to One Crazy Summer and it actually takes place immediately after that summer with Delphine and her sisters returning from spending a crazy time with their mom and they return back to Brooklyn and they're feeling some pretty good independence right now but their grandma's not quite sure she likes the changes she's seeing in her granddaughters. So this book explores more about coming of age and finding identity, but also it explores a little bit of the changing climate, climate, climate in America. Don't grow up too fast and to be 11 as long as possible. I feel like that's advice we could have all had at that age. Exactly. So I think it looks like a pretty good series. It does look like a pretty good series. Ooh, there's so many good books on this menu. I know. Oh my goodness, but after going through these four, Oh, I think I'm a little bit full. Same here. I'm oh stuck. Goodness. I'm time time for a nap. <laughs> well, this was fun. Thank you this for coming was. to GCPL Cafe. Oh, yeah. And I hope that you enjoy sampling some of these tasty books.